Hello, thank you and um, uh, welcome again. Um, I want to give a brief update about the IXPs in uh, Germany. Last year, Theo and Malte came up with the idea to not let every IXP do the update on its own, that we have probably a lot of um, uh, lightning talks um, after each and another. So we decided to make a short uh, questionnaire and send it out to every IXP in Germany and collect all the data back and give you the brief update uh, what we have got as answered from them. So um, we talked to all of the IXPs in Germany um, which we know about or which we reached. Um, it was a spontaneous idea last year. Uh, we asked 18 IXPs 12 um, answered, which is better than last year. And hopefully un uh, till next year we get the contact details of also the last uh, IXPs to get an update from everybody. So the answers, which you will see in the following slides, are directly from the IXPs. There is no uh, reduction from our side. And of course, most of, or from a lot of IXPs, there is stuff on site here from um, at the DNOC. So if you're interested in uh, more follow-up, um, don't hesitate to contact them directly if you find them or talk to the orga, then we can help you find the right people. Okay, we indicated for some values where there were changes, like numbers got bigger or smaller or keep probably the same. We didn't do for the local ASNs, as we thought it's not a, a valuable KPI, um, just having ASNs at the IXPs, we would probably need to dig deeper in it if this um, is a content provider which brings you a kind of a value or a big access net, so we just leave that out. We will start with the IXP from which we got the answer at the, late, as, at the latest and uh, go to the IXPs who answered as first, um, so you can, I don't know if this is a KPI, but um, at the end it's uh, uh, just this uh, ordering to have an ordering and all the um, uh, IXPs after another. Okay, so basically we have these three questions at every IXP. Um, highlight of the last year, most significant change in the last year and what the IXP for itself think is the next big thing in the next um, 12 months, so until next DNOC. Okay, for NLIX, um, they um, have as highlight uh, 400 and 800 gigabit ports in Amsterdam. Frankfurt will follow shortly. We want to focus on Germany, but here you see Amsterdam as um, uh, in this IX, probably Germany is the second market, and therefore you probably see the um, highlights first in the Netherlands and then coming to Germany. Uh, the significant change at NLIX is the BGP community at the route servers, and they asked me to do the smiley there, so the community will know uh, how to handle that statement. Um, next big thing, connection to Dublin, upgrade to Paris, investigating additional sites in Germany, and I think you can read out um, the numbers here on your own. The sites, um, the local ASNs connected, local capacity, um, and the peak traffic which got up from last year. With that, we go to the Equinix IX um, with highlight uh, from the last year, 40% new members over the last 18 months in Frankfurt. Um, also, Equinix has several locations. We are focusing here on the German market, which is the metro in uh, Frankfurt. Um, they have a, f a significant change, the added JEDA as new IX with now 30 participating countries and 17 IX metros in EMEA, including this one in Frankfurt. And the numbers um, below are the, the one uh, metro campus site in Frankfurt, and they will start an IX reselling program, which will be announced by them on a later time. The next is in Bremen, Bremen IX, um, operated by the LWL.com. You will also find uh, the colleagues uh, here on site from one of the IXPs, which we had until now, our colleagues here on site. Um, Prima X switched successfully to IXP Manager as highlight and most significant change. And um, the next big thing is connect the remaining ASNs in Brim. So if you're operating an ASN in Brim and you're not connected to Brima X, you probably will be haunted by <laughs> their colleagues here at Dinoc. <laughs> 
the numbers are for their own. You can read them also um, later in the slides. And we go forward to ICX. Um, they're operating five metros in Germany, as listed below. Um, well, in uh, the last 12 years, the outcomes in current times are no big changes as during last year, and significant uh, change, um, as they stated, consolidations and suspected upgrades across the metros, um, which seems for me a stable operation. Um, the next big thing would be the deployment of bigger than 100 G ports. With that numbers in these five metros, Frankfurt, Düsseldorf, Hamburg, Berlin and Munich, we'll go ahead to the next IXP, the Community Internet Exchange. Um, the highlight is they doubled uh, the peak traffic to about 100 to 128 gigabits, which is, I think, for a community internet exchange, a big number. Um, and we'll look at new pops in Hamburg and Düsseldorf. Today they are in Berlin and Frankfurt. And then we go to KANIX uh, in Karlsruhe. Um, as next big step, they want to migrate all members to a new own dedicated hardware platform to move away from the shared platform they are on right now. And as you see the numbers for them. Uh, and with that, we will go forward to BKIX. Um, they had their 20th anniversary party uh, in the last 12 months, I think it was half a year ago, and uh, new managing directors, and looking at 400 reports, not only for customer, but also for the transport system, in the next 12 months. And as we copied all the answers, as they were in the questionnaire to the slides, <laughs> you see as Metro 2 to 5, uh, the answer, we like to keep hearing local, so there's, no, there's um, only one Metro. Okay, next IX is the Rheintal IX. They are located um, around the Lake of Konstanz. Um, highlight was that they uh, got the MPLS capable switches sponsored and uh, moving all the servers to a virtual um, platform. Um, next big thing would be to do the ring of, um, around the Lake of Konstanz. There is a part in Lindau missing and then we probably will also see bigger numbers. Um, below there. So the site here is uh, named, or the metro is named Konstanz, um, but as far as I remember, there are more cities around the uh, Lake of Konstanz. Then NIX uh, in uh, Nuremberg, uh, quite stable operations, nothing to highlight. Um, probably they have done everything right, so it's just running. And then we are coming to the kicks. A little longer answers. And so they have two slides. Um, I will just highlight some, some bits of it, as you can read also the slides on your own. 30 terabits um, new traffic record, very strong growth, um, especially in Munich, CDNs rejoining. Uh, the significant changes, we had also a talk about that um, today, about the transition to the EVPN peering LAN, and um, a second significant change, uh, increase number of global enterprises for the cloud and uh, peering services. So we see a strong growth in the cloud. DKIC started operating in Leipzig. With that, I will go to the next slide with the numbers. We haven't there are no, no numbers in traffic for Leipzig, but the sites are live. And um, well, as you can look in, on the other side, strong uh, peak traffic growth also there. It gets more and more complicated to number and count all the sites in Frankfurt, not only for d -kicks, but also <laughs> for e-kicks. Uh, a lot of uh, data centers there. So at the end, you check on the websites of the IXPs if they are in the locations where you want to have them. In Stuttgart, uh, the Stuttgart IX joined uh, Euro IX um, and uh, prepared for possible blackouts with an additional UPS. And uh, the next big thing will be that their new larger CDNs will join. The numbers for Stuttgart below. And we're heading to Dortmund. Mm, unfortunately, not much happened this year. 
some uh, time constraints, uh, smaller IXPs are all often cooperated from other uh, with other companies, um, but they got rod servers and our PKI implementation. And uh, the next big thing will be to get more members, uh, build a more active community in uh, Dortmund, and maybe more sites there. And with that, that were the first who answered, so they are the last slide. I think it took them only some seconds <laughs> to answer to that email. Um, that was a very short and brief update um, with the answers from, from the IXPs. Uh, we got more than last year, but uh, obviously the question is, um, is this interesting for you? Should we do it the next year in the same format? Do you want to have more information? If so, please state it in uh, when you rate the talks or write us an email to ixp-update.dinoc.de. Or if you have questions now, um, not to the IXPs, but to the talk, I can obviously answer them now. Thanks. Thank, thank you, Tim. Are there, are there questions here that Tim can answer that the audience wants to place on him? No. This is the chance before we get to the last talk for today. So one, one second will come. Yes. Internet has also no questions. Internet has but no questions con about. Please the continue. I, I like the talk. <laughs> oh, Stefan, once again. <laughs> Tim, um, you're aware that uh, the data you have collected there, that there's other databases in the net and also other organizations are collecting them. Um, it would be maybe nice to have there a linked list. And if you talk to the IX, uh, IX Internet Exchange Points, which are maybe newer, maybe give them also a nice list of uh, other sites where they could add their statistic stuff. So it would be great if the IXPs would add their statistics to these centers, to these of official public databases too. I don't mention here name because there are actually two of them. Okay, yeah, thanks for that. Then we can catch up later in uh, which sources we can collect the uh, information. Thanks. I have a microphone. Uh, just one more remark on behalf of Stuttgart AX. We've peaked now at 58 gigabits, but this, uh, we answered this questionnaire quite early. That's good news. So, do we have any other questions or additional facts to tell? Then I believe we are so far that I'm going to hand over to Patrick and Momo, who are on their way to the stage. Thank you, Thank you Tim. One warm applause. <laughs>